Hello friends, Ali Reza from Physiotherapy Rehabilitation Academy, Pakistan. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Physiotherapy Rehabilitation Academy, Pakistan. And it's a case study day and we are going to discuss the radial nerve glide uh, and related case study. And we are going to start at 26 years old patient graduate student was using a phone with broken screen and recently upgraded to a new phone. The student is constantly on the new phone and is having difficulty in swiping upwards with their thumb as shown in the picture below. And patient feels difficulty in swiping up on the phone. What is the base mobilization to improve the thumb range of motion so that the student can swipe happily thereafter. Option A, inferior glide at CMC joint, carpo metacarpal joint, and superior glide at CMC joint, ulnar glide at CMC joint, option D, the radial glide at the CMC joint. So, what should be the correct answer? A radial glide is used to improve thumb extension to help sweep upward at the CMS joint. The trapezium is convex and the proximal metacarpal is concave for the flexion and extension. Flexion and extension are frontal plane movements of the thumb and concave metacarpal moves over the convex trapezoid so glide will be in the same direction. Here the rule is the concave convex uh, applied on this case. So the answer for this case is radial glide at CMC joint, carpo metacarpal joint, because it improves the extension of the thumb. What's a carpo metacarpal joint? It's a joint where the metacarpal bone at the base of the thumb and the trapezium bone in the wrist meets. It's also called basal joint. The smooth cartilage covers the end of the metacarpal bone and trapezium bone. The cartilage allows the bones to glide easily during the motion. So the question is, how should we apply the radial nerve glide to improve thumb extension, to ease the uh, movement, to improve the thumb range of motion? There are five steps to follow the radial nerve glide. Step one, uh, we can apply in sitting or standing position with the uh, patient body is in relaxed position. Option uh, two, drop your shoulder down and the three is rotate your arms to palm out and bend flex the wrist upward and tilt your head away from arm you are stretching continue to lift arm up and away from the body that keeps your wrist in flexed and head tilted position Stretch only until you feel tension and hold it for 10 seconds and repeat it for 5 to 10 times.